What's up everybody, this is Q from Josh and you are watching RU Entertainment. I'm Zulfia Ali Manelli and I'm here with RU Entertainment. I am so excited because today we are here at the very first Pakistani American Young Professionals Conference in Los Angeles, California. We have quite the show for you. We have different panelists from amazing different fields. I'm talking civic engagement, I'm talking law, public service, entertainment, you name it, we got it. And we are gonna have breakthrough sessions, we're gonna have Q&A, everyone's gonna be able to network, and this is what it's all about. We want the Pakistani students to come here and get involved, and that's exactly what we have going on. Not to mention, we have the one and only Josh here to perform tonight for us. I am so excited, I know everyone is looking forward today, so let's go inside and check it out. So the whole point of today is a youth conference. We're trying to reach out our youth and educate them. So what advice do you give our youth today? Uh, I know you had a great panel discussion, but for those that weren't a part of that. The fact of the matter is Pakistan is going through an intense time of transition, and Pakistani, young Pakistani Americans have a chance to tell a story of something that is not the story that's being told through CNN or Fox News or Jihad Watch or various kinds of uh, very uh, anti-Islamic yeah. organizations and so there's a chance to show that you know what that there are a lot of interesting things happening while we go through this really tense sort of a it's a bit of an earthquake within Pakistani society. B. I think you know we need to be we need to show that we exist we need to respect ourselves and accept that we exist and do something about it we need to build get to know our histories get to know who we are get to know where we live and figure out what we're going to leave behind when we're not here anymore. You were saying how important it is for us Pakistanis, Muslims in general, to be out there and be active in our political affairs. What do you think we should, as Pakistanis, do to get ourselves out there in D.C.? We started our organization, the Center for Global Understanding, to encourage these young Muslims and Pakistanis to get involved in civic engagement and just show them that there are a lot of opportunities available whether in politics or even anything related to the field in finance or whatnot, and just just go learn. If anything, just go learn. Just f understand how the government works and, uh, and bring it back to your community. I'm here with Q on behalf of the band Josh, who is going to be performing a major concert for us tonight. We're so excited and honored to have you here. You were with us for the panel discussion. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. It's an honor to be part of something so positive. And, uh, you know, it was amazing. You just mentioned that we just had this panel. And, and it was good to see that all these young kids were listening intently. And, and you could see the little, the smiles in, in, on their faces when they, when they heard stories, especially from artists, saying that, you know, it, it's, not, it, it's, not a, it's not an easy journey. What you just said resonated with a lot of us out there in the audience that we did have a sigh of relief when you, you talked a lot about rejection and you having felt like dealt with rejection. Can you tell a little bit about how you've dealt with it? You have to remind yourself that you're doing this because this is what you want to do for the rest of your life. Um, and if you have decided that because this makes you happy. Every morning you wake up and and you don't you don't wake up tired saying oh i have to do this nine to five or something or just basically doing something that you don't want to do you wake up saying okay this is a brand new day you know my parents were doctors so they were a little bit not sure about what i'm going to do but i know my sisters were always there behind me saying hey let him pursue this hobby it's a good thing so you you find somebody who will support you you can make every rejection a new business learning experience where you can say okay this is what happened uh, they didn't like my demo let's say in, in a musician's case and now what do i do to make it better you can try to identify that did i give it to the wrong person 
or was there something lacking in the demo? And then if you just, if you don't even think about the rejection, you can twist it around. You can just make it something positive and you can be like, okay, let's move forward. And always looking ahead is very important. What's next for Josh? What can we all expect? Um, so Josh has been on this journey where we released our last album about six months ago. We've released a few videos from it that you guys can watch on planetjosh.com. And uh, right now we are concentrating on Bollywood. We've got a, a, a huge bank of, of new songs that are being placed in different Bollywood movies. I think you'll start seeing them uh, in about six months from now. Because Bollywood has become so accepting of different styles, it's a great time for, for a Josh Bollywood marriage. And uh, so we're in India a lot. Uh, just just giving the songs to the right producers and, and directors and, and actors and stuff. Uh, so you're gonna get a lot of Josh and Bollywood. I'm here with Kulsum Abdullah, Pakistani American Muslim, competitive Olympic weightlifter. Kulsum, thank you so much for flying down and being here with us today. Thanks. It was great to an honor to be considered to be the keynote speaker for this event. You went through a lot of backlash. You dealt with a lot of negativity. There must have been so many hard times that you had to deal with. And I imagine that it is, there are times where you just want to give up. What motivated you to keep going to get to where you are today? Um, just reminding myself that, first of all, this wasn't just about me, that this was a global issue and it was going to help other people. And that in spite of the negative criticism, I think the majority of people had a lot of support for me. Were you surprised and shocked at the community outreach of the support when the story broke out and everyone joining forces to be on your side? Yes, because I thought there wouldn't be much interest at first. I thought maybe there'd be one or two articles or people would just be neutral about it, not really have much emotion. But I was definitely surprised that there was the outpouring support from people of all kinds of different backgrounds, male, female, wasn't necessarily Pakistan or even Muslim. A lot, all the religions, they, they were supportive behind it. At what point did you just wake up and realize, I, I have to do it for, for them? It first started clicking for me when I was talking to um, other civil rights groups and lawyers when they were just puzzled as to what I could do about it and how this was something that was never brought up or even questioned. And I think that, that when that happened and when the press release came out and I learned about all these other issues of other sports and women having problems, that's when I realized that this is a much bigger issue than just only affecting me. What advice do you give the youth? Because this is all about youth. Well, I would say that um, as far as the culture, sometimes um, there is uh, a discouragement from being in a sport or doing athletics because there's more emphasis on education. But I think that it's possible to do both and that um, doing a sport or doing something that's fun, it's not just an exercise or a chore. Um, so, and then you get to meet people and I think it's something that helps to improve other aspects of your life like health and your education and everything. So I'm hoping that maybe that mentality will change and that there will be more support for it. And that way, you know, men and women will be more encouraged to pursue a sport if they wanted to do that. <laughs> by the panelists' stories. They talked about their journeys, their breakthroughs, their highs, their lows. Everyone walked away with some new information today. Not to mention, Josh brought down the house tonight. And as you can see, the party's still going on behind me. I'm gonna go inside, get my groove on, party a little with everyone. Hope to see you all soon.